Hello and good morning. Welcome to today's video. Now we have been discussing about personal finance and how to grow your wealth beyond imagination. In our entire journey, we understood what are the steps required to grow our wealth, to do the debt management, to, to control our expenses, to protect our investments, to find out a conducive place to take ourselves in and be and remain wealthy for the rest of our lives. Now in doing so, we understood a lot of things that we need to do. So there is something hanging at the back which is even more important than these fundamental steps that are there to help us fulfill our dreams. What are these? Nothing, it's just simple, the rules of money. We'll see all of these, all of these rules in this video right here. So stay tuned. Rule number one, money is made during crisis. We discussed this earlier in, in many of our videos, we stated that money is made during crisis. We even segregated a part of our planning corpus or maybe wealth building corpus for this purpose. When, when there is a crisis, we should utilize that two months of salary, whatever we discussed to capitalize on these kind of scenarios to make the most out of it. So money is made during crisis. So we should not forget this and this is the most important part in our wealth building journey and also in understanding the concepts of money. Rule number two, money is the game of exchange. Here we need to understand that money comes when we work but then we should allow that money to make more money. It's not always right that we should be working for money money should be working for money and earn more money for money it's too complex <laughs> a lot of money in between but that's true you should make money work for more money that's exchanging money for more money and then using that money to earn more money in exchange so money is a game of exchange and you have to play it well rule number three money attracts money of course this is true for everybody in any scenario that you can think of so if you have good rich people, good people around you, they'll give you opportunities and with more opportunities, you will have more opportunities to earn more, keep more, make more for yourself. So having good association, people with money around you will make you more money for yourself. Rule number four, money is easy to earn, hard to maintain. This is absolutely true. We have spoken about this during our asset protection. The link will be in the i button up there. Please have a look at it. So you should not be wasting or spending money on heavy expensive lifestyles. So that rich living or extravagant living is going to spoil and finish your money off quickly. Rule number five, money loves secrecy. Do not disclose all of your assets to everybody, not even in your family keep something aside little bit aside do not disclose everything that you have outside because when people around you come to know how much you have if they know the net actual net worth you probably will be flocked around by wrong companies wrong people will start coming after you money hates stagnation that's rule number six money loves to work so if you put the money in a place where it's not growing it's not moving fast it will not move for you it will not stay with you it will probably move out and go out to someone who knows how to make money work that's how people lose money and that that's how people make money so you have to learn you have to understand how money works and you have to understand how money hates stagnation so that you can use money to make it work money loves risk takers that's rule number seven so if you love risk, little bit at least, put that money, put, put a small person, maybe 5-10% of your corpus to risky, risky avenues, to risky assets to build more out of it. If you, if you really understand and invest, it probably might give you multifold returns and that's what money also loves. 
it loves taking risks it loves people who takes risk number 8 money hates spend thrift so if you are spending it that's not what money likes if you are spending on something make sure you fill that bucket up if this is the bucket of money that you have you should be filling that up you should earn more make money to earn more money use that money to fill up the bucket that you have spent that's how money stays with you if you spend it money will not like you it will go away from you to someone else rule number 9 money loves authenticity create something for yourself that is unique to you money would stay around with you for that particular creation that's how money loves authenticity it loves being unique it loves being with you you have created it be something be a creator money likes creators rule number 10 money likes to be controlled now there are two two different ways either money controls you or you control the money for most majority of them money controls them but it has to be the other way around you have to control money you have to do the budgeting you have to tell money what to do not money telling you what you should be doing rule number 11 money can neither be a problem nor a solution so money is money it is what it is if you borrow money you're creating problems for yourself you're taking loans if you borrow more money you're going into debt you're taking loans you're creating problems for yourself but if you invest money you're making money for yourself so money is what it is it's how you use it that becomes your problem or your solution so money is neither a problem nor a solution it's how you use it that determines whether money is a problem or a solution to you okay that was rule number 11 rule number 12 money doesn't change people this is absolutely true if you are a jerk money is going to make you a bigger jerk if you are intelligent money is going to make you more intelligent if you are a philanthropist money is going to make you a bigger philanthropist if you are a stupid money is going to make you a bigger stupid you know money just magnifies the person who who is owning it if you are a crook you're going to be a bigger crook if you are a terrorist you're going to be a bigger terrorist so if you are mother teresa you know what money is going to do for a person like mother teresa you know what money is going to do for a person like ratan tata and you know what money is going to do for a person like osama or daud or whoever it is so money just magnifies the person it doesn't change a person rule number 13 let money work for you this again goes back to rule number 2 let money make more money that was rule number 2 i think it's just an extension to that it says let money work for you and make more money it's not you who should be working for money it should be money who should be working for money you should put all your hard earned earnings into investments and make those investments give returns and use those returns to make your spendings that's how you should be handling money i am working towards it but probably i am 60% or 65% successfully on that path you have to be on it 100% when 100% of your salary is replaced by your investment incomes that is the day when you can say for sure that your money has worked for you i am walking towards it i urge you do the same rule number 14 money is a game of doubles so it, it doesn't sound very easy but what it means is you have 5 rupees make it 10 make 10 20 20 to 40 40 to 80 80 to 160 that's how you should be calculating money should be calculated in doubles if you have 1 lakh how long will it take to make you 2 lakhs how long is it going to take to make it 4 8 16 if you have 1 cr make it 2 how long is it going to take that is the basis of the whole calculation the doubling of money this is one of the principles which we will learn when we go into the rules of investing in in the later videos uh, you know so stay tuned keep in touch we'll we'll see in the later videos that you know there are certain rules that we need to follow while investing so we'll we'll have a look into that rule number 15 money loves seduction this is nasty 
Don't run after money. You will not get it. Seduce money to come after you. That's how you get money. Rule number 16, have strategic partnerships. It means that help others make more money. That in turn will help you make more money. So the more people you help, the more help you get in turn to make more money. It's, it's kind of saying be more philanthropic and while helping others, the help that you have rendered comes back to you multifolds. Rule 17, study your politicians, taxation, policies, rules, regulations, changes. These things are associated with money and how money works. So if there is anything changing, if there is any, any update in the law, if there is any update in the taxation structure, you know, we discussed uh, during the asset protection video in IDBP3, the P2 of IDBP3, where we talked about asset protection. That's where I discussed about how you should be updating or keep yourself updated on the current affairs, the rules and regulation changes, the, the, the change in the law. You know, so these, these things you should be updated on. So you should be regularly in touch with your CAs and the lawyers to help you understand if there are any changes in the tax or in the CA world, you know, so that you can save money. Rule number 18, money doesn't solve insecurities. So if you have any insecurity problem like you're not getting a good job, your family health is not good, your family relation is not good, your, uh, you have an ego problem. So these problems do not have a money solution. Money cannot solve these problems. Money can only solve monetary problems. Money cannot solve every problem in this world. So you have to handle different problems differently. Rule number 19, play your game, do not chase others. This is very important because Mostly it's found that people chase others. Don't do that. Run at your own pace. Don't follow what others are doing. Just move on at your own pace. Rule number 20, avoid making blunders. I have a series of videos on blunders. I'll be coming up with that. Have a look at it and do not commit any of those blunders. Your money is not going to stick with you otherwise. Okay. Rule number 21, wealth accumulates over time. Give time for money to grow. It requires time to grow. Just like us human beings, we take 10, 15, 20 years to grow, to be an adult. Money will take time to be an adult. And that's when money will be big. So give that time to grow. Rule number 22, tax loopholes. Make use of them, make good use of them. Use them properly, legally. And you will save tons and tons of money. Legally, safely. So tax loopholes are made to be used. So use them wisely. Rule number 23, once you, once you win with money and you have more money, you have a greater bargaining power. See my video on or the entire series on win with money. I'll, I'll have it linked here in the i button and I'll give the link in the description as well. It will be in the V card also. So how to win with money. Once you win with money, you'll have more money. And once you have that money with you, it will give you a greater bargaining power. So the richer you are, banks and other people or other institutions would know that this person knows how to handle money. So for the bank, you are a very safe person to lend money to. They lend you money at a dirt cheap rate. For others, there are others who get, get probably get a personal loan at 15, 16% because the Sybil is bad for them. But if you can handle money, you have a very good credit score, you get a loan at a very, very cheap rate. And when you have more money in few crores, you can you can show that, you can show the you can show your capacity to the bank and get more for less. The banks will lend you at a very, very cheap interest rate. Rule number 24, do not disclose all your money. We have discussed this earlier in the asset protection video where we said we should not disclose all our assets to everybody because there are sharks moving around. People who know that you have money are going to come after you to take it away. So do not disclose whatever you have, what you have. Be simple, stay simple. Yes, enjoy your life. Yes, enjoy your money, but enjoy your money with your family. You do not have to disclose it to, out, to the outside world. You don't have to be extravagant. You don't have to splurge everything. Rule number 25 and the biggest myth the myth says money doesn't grow on trees reality is money does grow on trees now what is the reality you should plant something that will produce money 
for you throughout your life just like a tree you plant a tree once it's going to give you the fruit throughout your life similarly plant something be it a business be it a network be it a system be it something be it be it a product that gives you royalty be it, be it something that gives you a recurring income something that keeps generating money for you even when you're sleeping even when you're not there money will still be coming from that tree so plant that tree and money is yours forever money does grow on trees so these are the 25 rules of money that you should be playing with i'm not saying i'm a master of all of them but i am playing the majority of them well really really very well i am a player of all these rules small big whatever be your situation as the rule says play your own game wherever you are start playing it you would reach a full hundred for some day or the other so wherever you are it doesn't matter start playing with the money rules and you will win with money 100 percent of the time see my video series win with money i'll give the link in the description and in the v card so till then have a nice day sg signing off goodbye